Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about fat. Fats are a controversial topic. Some people avoid any kind of fat while others eat loads of it. In fact, fats have many vital roles in maintaining good health. One of these roles is providing slow release energy. One gram of fat has more than twice the energy that one gram of carbohydrate would have. This is why oil and butter contain nearly 900 calories per 100 grams, while flour contains less than 400. This energy is stored as body tissue in the form of fat until it is released as energy. Fat is also vital in the absorption of several vitamins the body needs. These include vitamin A, D, E and K. Therefore, if you want to get enough of these nutrients, you also need to consume an adequate amount of fat. Fats are also an important structural compound in your body. Fatty compounds such as cholesterol, triglycerides and phospholipids make up cell membranes which separate the inside of body cells from the outside. They also control what goes in and what comes out of every cell. Many animals cope with the cold because of a thick layer of fat. This is because fat does not conduct heat well, which prevents excess heat loss. On the other end of the scale, fat limits the amount of excess body heat that can come into your body and cause hypothermia. Having a normal body fat level is important to regulate body temperature. Vital organs in the body are often protected by fat or made up of fat. For example, the brain is an astounding 60% fat. Delicate organs such as the heart or kidney are protected by visceral fat. Too much of this can block your arteries with devastating effects. However, not all fats are the same, so the type and amount of fats you consume can make the difference between good health and severe health issues and obesity. Fats have a bad reputation for a few reasons. 1. Because of their high calorie mass, eating too much fat will mean eating too many calories, and this will ultimately lead to obesity and other health issues. Consuming too many saturated fats will increase your cholesterol levels. While cholesterol is created in your body in small levels, too much of it can build up in your arteries and block the supply of oxygen to your body parts. 3. Saturated fats will stiffen the sides of your arteries and affect the blood flow in your body. This can lead to heart disease. 4. Excessive consumption of unhealthy fats are known to cause type 2 diabetes, stroke, metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance and fatty liver disease. The trick to avoiding these problems is to know what types of fat you should eat and in what amounts. First, I will list some foods which contain saturated fats. You should eat these foods in smaller amounts and less frequently. These foods include red meat like lamb or beef, butter and ghee, paneer and cheese, palm oil, cakes and biscuits, ice cream, coconut, cream and chocolate. Keep in mind that not all saturated fats are bad. Saturated fats from natural foods such as dairy and plants in small amounts can be healthy. Just don't eat a lot of them. Most of the fats you eat should be either monounsaturated fats or polyunsaturated fats. These fats will be less thick and saturated than saturated fats. There are many foods that contain these healthy fats. Some of them include groundnut or vegetable oil, fatty fish such as mackerel or salmon, nuts such as cashew nuts, almonds and peanuts, sunflower seeds, olive oil or olives, and avocados. Although unsaturated fats should make up most of your diet and are typically better for you, it is important to have a balance. Some saturated fats are very nutritious such as cheese and paneer and should be eaten as a part of a healthy diet. The important thing is to choose natural foods over processed and factory made foods and to maintain a healthy diet and a balanced lifestyle. Thank you for watching this video, I hope this helps.